Hi everyone, Rob here again from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And what we're gonna look at today is how to embed an active hyperlink into a discussion post or a content page in Moodle. Now there's lots of reasons why we wanna make sure that we actually embed active hyperlinks as opposed to inactive ones when we are making online posts. Most important reason though is because you'd actually be surprised how many of your colleagues, how many of your students, wouldn't know that they could actually copy paste the URL, the plain text URL from your discussion post into a new browser tab and, and go there. And uh, wouldn't know how to do that if, uh, you if you asked them to do it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to embed a hyperlink and make it active. Now I'm in the middle of editing a discussion post for uh, some of my students right now that actually talks about just this topic. Um, the hyperlink tabs are on the toolbar here. They're grayed out right now because I don't have any text highlighted that I want to add in. There are more uh, ribbons available for the toolbar. You just click on this toggle toolbar button here and you'll get all three of the editing ribbons. The link buttons stay in the same place. I also have uh, a link ready that I want to embed. I've got it saved right here. I've got the, uh, the proper APA format reference for this link because I'm a bit of a stickler for that. So I'm going to paste this into my message. Now you'll notice that um, I have got um, I've got a URL right here, but it's not active. It's just plain text. And if I hit save on my message, it's going to stay as plain text. So I want to make that active. I'm simply going to highlight this text here and copy it. I'm going to click on the link button on my toolbar and I'm going to paste the link here. You can also use this button right here if you want to browse through your course and find uh, some uh, files that you have uploaded or if you want to upload a file. But in this case, we're going to stick to uh, a hyperlink to some content that's available online. Now, your next option here is the target button the target dropdown, and we want to change this. Because this is an external link, I want to change this to open in a new tab. And the reason that I'm doing that is because this link is outside of the course management system or outside of my website. I don't want my students or my audience to lose their place on the contact uh, on the content page where they have found the link. I want them to be able to get back here easily. So I'm going to have this open in a new tab. That way it will open in a new tab for them. They can finish with uh, that link that I've provided. They can come right back to where they left off. Typically, if I'm linking to a page that's inside of the course or inside of my own website, then I won't do that. I'll just leave one tab open to help them minimize the number of tabs that uh, they have open in their browser. But if it's an external site, I will link it to open in a new tab. And then I just need to hit save on my message. The link will be available for everyone. It's that easy.